What's going on everybody? In the pod review. Refining Fire Chilies. You can get his website, www.superhotchilies.com. I'll have that in the description. This is another pod, a space chili from of course Jenny Song. Sent some seeds to um, Jim Duffy. And what we're doing, what we're doing here is uh, we're all doing a little trial thing. He's having some reviewers <coughs> and some chefs check these pods out to see how what people think of them and uh, if he's going to have seeds and plants and pods later on in the year for everybody. This one I hear is called HJ6 Pulsar. I got to say, there's some really cool names on these these jokers. But anyway, this is another uh, and a few a few videos ago on the space chili because this is like my. This is my like my mission space deal here. I'm doing all space chilies for this week. But anyway, this is just something. This is um, the, the site. I don't even know what it is. But anyway, um, I might even put it in the description. But you can Google it. It's right up there. The name of it is China, China Spice. Space Seeds to Infinity and Beyond. This is what it says. Now all we want... Now, we all want the biggest yield from our crops, whether they are tomatoes, chilies, or any veg. Well... For many decades, work has been going on by the Chinese on this very subject. They have been sending seeds into space on their space breeding program, and then are return sowing these seeds. It has become apparent that the trip into outer space is creating higher yields, bigger produce, and an increase in the levels of nutrients in the, results, in the resulting fruit. Now, whether that is due to the radiation or the lack of gravity, who knows? And then it keeps reading and reading. I'll let you guys read that. Um, I'll, I, I will put this in the description. This uh, this um, this site. But um, so there's a little there's a little information known, but more of it's coming available as we're talking about it. And also there's some other reviewers. I'm going to try to name as many as I could that are actually have done this for Jim Duffy. Ted Barris. He is one of the biggest pepper and chili head reviewers in the world, of exclusively just hot spicy stuff. Um, Ted. Uh, Brad Bishop's also another big one. He's doing it. We got James Wyatt, uh, Sean Clemmer, and I believe uh, Chuck Biz. You're going to find them all on YouTube, and they all have it. Uh, Ted Barris goes by uh, the Fire Breathing Idiot, so just so you can find him. They all have done some uh, reviews on the Space Chili, so you can get different reviews and different, uh, excuse me, different opinions on the reviews, and I'm going to give you mine. So if there's something that you guys like and you're interested in, Hit up Jim Duffy, uh, like the like the comments, you know, share it, you know, whatever, whatever it takes so uh, Jim will actually get the seeds going. So I'm gonna go ahead and start eating this. You can see this is green. I actually read something uh, Daniel Wallace had put up showing green chili, and someone asked if they turn red, and they do. You could actually see it turning red. Some of them are really cool because they'll have like stripes on it where it's turning red, which is really cool. That could happen with probably any chili, really, but. I just thought it was really cool. You could actually see it coming red. But they said that they pick them green. So I don't know. I mean, jalapenos, they pick green, don't they? And jalapenos turn red. So anyway, I'm going to start munching on this guy. And then as we get closer, then we can cut it up and look at some seeds. <coughs> Everyone's got their... Their, their side effect when they eat chilies. Some people some people sweat a lot, some people's face turns red. Mine does too when it gets real when it's really hot. Some people throw up. Some people hiccup. My thing is I always cough. I get a first couple of coughs out and then I'm usually good. This is a little hot. Tasty though. It's got a little heat to it. It's not bad. I'd probably say jalapeno heat. This has a deep, an interesting taste. Like the last pepper I had, it tastes more like a banana. Another one I had like was like a cayenne almost. This one has an, its own kind of taste. Could compare it to a jalapeno, but maybe I'm just saying it because it's green. But it's got some nice heat. A 
coming up to a bunch of seeds here. Let's just let's get into this guy right now. Crunchy too. All right, you can see the placenta. And you can see the seeds. That's what the other big one I ate yesterday. Um, it's got some nice big seeds in there. I would actually like to taste this red, to be all honest with you. It's probably definitely jalapeno heat. Or less, but definitely right there with the jalapeno. Tasty fruity pepper. It's got that kind of a bell taste and jalapeno taste. This is something you could roast. Put in some oil. Cut it up in salad, put it on pizza. Um, that was probably the size of like two, almost three jalapenos, depending on the size of the jalapeno. So I had some jalapenos that were pretty, I had a little bit of kick to it, even though they're so low heat. So I don't know if I put this as far as jalapeno, but less, a little less though. But if anything, right out there, it's a good taste in pod, nice aftertaste. Um, I definitely would be asking Jim Duffy to uh, be carrying seeds. I think some growers would really enjoy these space chilies. As I'm going along, I think I got like four more to review. I'm already pretty much sold on them. There's a couple I already want in my head that I that I gotta have, and uh, I'm not even done with the other ones. I got a couple more red ones and a couple more green ones. But um, and these were actually cold this time. The other ones, he sent me in a box on Friday, and then I just left them overnight. And I was starting to do. I did three of them yesterday, but. Uh, Tastes good cold. Mm. But anyway, I appreciate it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, questions, comments, uh, please let me know what you guys think, man. Um, and also hit up Jim Duff if you know him. Tell me you want some uh, seeds, man. You know, I appreciate it, guys. Later.